Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to my presentation. I am presenting this afternoon my paper entitled The Morality of Getting Vaccinated Against the COVID-19 Virus. I am Glenn Pajares of the University of San Jose Recoletos, Cebu City, Philippines. As for my introduction, in this time of the pandemic, there exists skepticism on vaccination in the Philippines and across the globe, which is a setback to the global vaccination campaign. And to combat the vaccination skepticism and hesitancy, the popular and common scheme used is the communication campaigns from scientific experts and testimonies of people to get vaccinated. In addition to scientific and medical experts' advice, this paper provides a number of moral arguments based on the teachings of the Catholic Church why people should, should be vaccinated to reinforce the existing arguments in the global vaccination campaign. In fact, based on literature review, there is a dearth or a lack of literature using moral and social teachings of the Catholic Church to explain or to support the vaccination campaign. So for that reason, the paper was written. The paper uses the qualitative research design. Specifically, it employs content analysis of documents and literatures on the moral and social teachings of the Catholic Church and use these teachings to explain why getting vaccinated against the COVID-19 virus is good. Now we go to the results and discussions of the paper. Generally, the Catholic Church condemns the use of vaccines that are produced utilizing human cell lines that originate from aborted fetuses as morally illicit. Therefore, people must not be involved in the production, proliferation, or use of these kinds of vaccines. However, there is an exemption. When the ethically acceptable COVID-19 vaccines are not available, then it is morally acceptable to receive the COVID-19 vaccines that have cell lines from aborted fetuses for the sake of the greater good and the common good, which is to save life. Meaning the intent is not really to participate in abortion, but rather to save life. Because people are in, in, in danger. They are in imminent danger from the threat of the virus. And that circumstance makes vaccination a moral obligation or morally acceptable. Next, another argument is that getting vaccinated against the COVID-19 virus is an act of respect. And it promotes human dignity. By human dignity, we mean the value of human life. And the value of human life rests in the sacredness of life itself because life comes from God. It is a gift from God. It is created from God. It is the breath of God. And therefore, by getting vaccinated, we protect life. And by protecting life, we, we promote and respect its dignity, its value. Another is that it promotes the common good and social justice. The common good is to save the life of mankind, of humanity in general. Because this virus does not only threaten and ravage a portion of the community or of the world, but the entire world, the entire humanity is being 
threatened by this virus. And the risk of the virus makes the life of everyone in danger. So it is imminent that we have to protect everybody's life. So it's in line with the common good. And it promotes the common. And why social justice? We talk about, uh, when we speak of social justice, we are referring to uh, social equity, meaning more should be given to the vulnerable, to the disadvantaged members of society. By, by getting the vaccine, you are not just protecting your life, but especially the life of the vulnerable people, the sick, the poor, the dying, who could easily be afflicted with the virus. And that's where social justice comes in. Because you are providing benefit and protection to the least advantaged members of, of society. Another is that it promotes and protects basic human rights and fulfill human responsibilities. Every human being has a right, the basic inherent rights. These are the right to life and the right to the needs, to acquire the needs of, of, of life. And every human being has that responsibility to promote and protect not just one's own right to life, but the right of life, uh, the right to life of other human beings. So by getting the vaccine, one protects one's life and the, our right to life. At the same time, we are also protecting and promoting the, the right to life of others. Next is that getting vaccinated promotes solidarity. There is a global call for vaccination for the purpose of, of saving life. And by nature, human beings are social beings. We are fulfilled in the community, in a family, in the church, in the larger community where we belong. So it is our duty to participate, to contribute to the common good of, of the community, of the world. Therefore, by getting vaccinated, we become one. We, we support, we are in unison to this world's endeavor to save lives through vaccination. Another, getting vaccinated is an act of care for God's creation. The crowning glory of God's creation is no other than the human being himself who is created in God's image and likeness, the imago Dei. Therefore, if the vaccine protects the life of, of, of mankind, who is the crowning glory of God's creation, then it's an act of caring for creation, especially uh, to humanity. Next is, it is an act of love. Pope Francis has been reiterating this, that even if getting vaccinated is just a very simple, a small gesture, but the benefit that it contributes to, to oneself and to, to other people is an act of love. Love is all about sharing. Love is all about doing good, not just to oneself, but to others. So by getting vaccinated, you are not only doing good to yourself, but you are doing good to others. You're giving them favor. You are giving them benefit. Another is that it is an act of genuine freedom. So what is freedom? Freedom is not the ability or the capacity to do whatever you want, but rather freedom is an act that is always in line with the good. Because the will, the faculty of uh, the, that ability to choose the good, is des designed by God to choose God, who is the highest good. Therefore, genuine freedom is to choose the good. And if getting vaccinated is good in itself or yields good consequences by saving life, then it is an act of genuine freedom. Another is that getting vaccinated is an act that is good in itself, good in intention, 
and good in circumstance altogether. The intention is to protect life and to save life. And in itself, because the act protects life and saves life. And in circumstance, because the, the situation calls for it. As I've said, we are in the time of the pandemic and there is an imminent danger to everyone. And the vaccine is there as a means to help protect and promote health and life. So therefore, the circumstance makes it a moral obligation to, to oneself and to, to others. And finally, the benefit of getting vaccinated against the virus outweighs its side effects, or they call it collateral effects, and satisfies the principle of double effect. So the principle of double effect says that uh, th these are this is a principle in which um, an act produces two effects, one intended, the other unintended. In the case of the vaccination, which has a side effect, the, the unintended effect is the side effect, while the intended effect is the, the, good, the good object, which is to, to save life, to protect life, to promote health. And the side effect was never the intention in itself. And the benefit of getting vaccinated is better, outweighs the side effect, because the side effect is not as lethal as the the, the consequences of getting the virus. So by protecting one from the virus protects more deaths, more lives that are claimed than the side effects, which is not that deadly. So that's why it satisfies the principle of double effect. And finally, we say that if getting vaccinated against the virus is good, therefore, it is something that should not be feared and doubted. So everybody should not be afraid of getting vaccinated. So have your vaccination now to save lives. Good afternoon, and thank you for this opportunity.